What is the most extreme misuse of an everyday item you have ever witnessed? My mom's co-worker, or maybe even her ex-boss, used the plastic page protectors for office binders in a wrong way. The page protectors have only one opening on top as everyone knows. But she would always turn them upside down and then used a billion of paper clips on the bottom to prevent papers from falling out. I caught a friend of mine rubbing one of the antibacterial hand wipes from KFC all over his friend's chicken. The little packet said a hint of lemon on it. And he thought that he was meant to flavor the chicken with it. Using a microwave to dry clothes. My wife once watched a girl at work stick a ball of aluminum into a microwave with her instant ramen during a break. She said. The sparks are just because it's heating up faster. As if it were common knowledge. My friend's kid decided to make a grilled cheese sandwich with an iron on the couch. Burned a nice iron shaped hole in the couch. Kid was 15 at the time. Several years ago I worked for natural nail salon as a receptionist. One of my duties was to sweep the floors regularly so clients don't step on nail clippings on their way in out. There was a new hire. And my manager was never really around to train her. The other receptionists and I trained her. One day. I asked her to sweep the floors. I showed her where the broom and dustpan was. She was in her early 20s and living on her own. I assumed I didn't have to teach her how to use a broom. She took the broom. And fanned the nail clippings into the dustpan. She didn't drag the broom across the floor to sweep it. The broom never touched the floor. I tried to show her how to sweep properly. She never took my advice. And I kind of gave up. She left after 6 months. She still couldn't sweep. But she could finally calculate tips at least. This was a story that a colleague told me that happened on the day I was off back in the day I used to work for a hotel. Apparently some Chinese guests came to reception to complain that the microwave wasn't working. We didn't have microwaves in the room. So when coming to inspect the problem. She found out that they were trying to microwave a pizza. In the room's safe. Roommates in college used laundry pods in the dishwasher for like a week. I hand washed my dishes. So it did not affect me. They only noticed because I asked why they always left their laundry pods on the kitchen counter. Snorting nutmeg to get high. A little gets you pie. A little more gets you high. And a little more gets you cardiac arrest. My high school Spanish teacher would use her computer's disc tray as a shelf for her coffee mug. Using my fabric shears to cut wire and plastic packaging. And now he's butthurt that my new fabric shears have a padlock through the handles. My. Adult. Comma Bill once used steel wool to scrub his parents oak dining table. That still floors me after like a decade. Has he ever had to do a clean up chore at a family gathering after that? It's the long con. If you screw up so bad people react in horror once they never ask for help again. I used to live two doors down from the neighborhood's crazy lady and she would often vacuum her grass after it was mowed. What do you expect when assholes keep walking through her yard without taking their shoes off first? Walked into my sister's room and she had maxi pads laying everywhere with Barbies on top. She's like. Look at all these Barbie sleeping bags I found. Using a microwave to dry a smartphone. After running said smartphone under tap water to clean it, this was like 7 years ago. I don't think the phone was waterproof. We had a housemate who used to get home very drunk and try and cook himself elaborate meals. Which always resulted in a lot of mess and noise. To combat this I turned the oven and electrical sockets in the kitchen off when he went out one night. Foolproof. The fool cooked himself steak in the living room with our clothes are in at 3 a.m. You made the mistake of not counting on him being a better fool than you were a foolproofer. I used to work at a golf course doing lawn maintenance. We had a fellow on our crew that was older and well. Not the brightest. He was kind of a loner so we just let him be most of the time. One day. I saw our guy mowing some large berms with one of our push mowers. To save time. I guess. He left the mower running. Then picked it up to put in the back of the truck. 
He still had all his fingers but the truck tailgate took a good hit. I'm working in the operating theater. We removed a very large eggplant from a very normal size dust hole. Comma from a very normal size dust hole. Not anymore. I did not witness it but my grandma had used a vibrator as a massaging stick for her back pain because the box had stated massage stick. The way we found out was hilarious though. When we visited her one day she started telling how she went to the shop where she bought her massage stick and asked the boy to change the batteries. She did not understand why the boy had refused and why he acted weird. Then she asked my mom if she could change the batteries and gave my mom the vibrator. I still feel sorry for the kid behind the counter at the shop. My wife routinely uses butter knives as flat screwdrivers. I once caught her using an ice cream scoop as a hammer. I've talked about it. I bought her tools. Now she keeps an old shtty butter knife in the back of the drawer for fast easy battery changes and uses a hammer as a hammer. My mom used the handle end of a spoon today instead of a knife to spread some mayonnaise. The spoon was clean and not used for any spoon-like activities either. There were other knives to use. Saw a woman using an Oyster card. It's a London bus pass the same size and material as a credit card. As a sort of spoon to eat a lasagna out of a Tupperware on the bus. Surely. Huffing solvents for a high. As a teenager found a roommate's friend's younger brother doing that. Had a brown paper bag he was filling with spray paint. Huffing it and twitching and looked like he was going to start having seizures. I told him he is not allowed to huff paint at the house and to smoke pot like a normal teenager and if I catch him huffing paint I'd kick the shti out of him. An old roommate put a strainer inside of a pot of boiling water and flipped both. Boiling went all over the place. But she said that's the right way to do it. I once witnessed a dude washing out condoms and hanging them to dry. I was doing an internship in a small office and the engineer, yeah he is engineer, needed to take out the trash from the trash bin, it had a plastic bag with the trash. He opened a new plastic bag, I know it was to replace the old full one, and asked my help to hold it while he threw all the trash from the bin to the new plastic bag instead of just take the trash from the old plastic bag and replace for the new one. I was so confused. Sorta of general but the whole using hot peppers. Cinnamon. Glue to big gin lips thing. There's a TikTok going about with a girl using lash glue to glue her upper lip to her skin to make it hotter. Bumper and I think it's not long until super glue is used for the same purpose. Upvoted for good use of Imbigjan. About 9 years ago a co-worker hammered a paint tin lid back on with the handle of my torque wrench. Still mad at that guy. My roommate once poured hummus into a pot of marinara sauce. He's also mixed together a bunch of different types of barbecue sauce and left them out for days. Then he ate it and tried to get the rest of us to eat it. That's how making food was figured out in the first place. Trial and error. Your friend just is a bit uncultured. Even Neolithic. My dad's old boss asked a dishwasher at work to wash his car. An hour later the boss goes to look at his brand new BMW and the guy had used a pot scourer, that metal thing used to clean stuff dunno if that's right word. Needless to say my dad's boss screamed and that guy ran so far he was never seen again. Someone playing a shooter game to use their Xbox One controller for a massage. Yes. Massage. Not extreme. But two of our graphic design juniors using caps lock for a single capital letter. I had never seen anyone do this and they both joined within a space of a month. A friend of mine was a first generation migrant to my country and her parents had a dishwasher in their house. But due to never having had one in their home country. Saw it as a wasteful appliance to use. So they stored clean pots and pans in it. Just like another cabinet. This is extremely common in, especially Asian, immigrant communities. Even if they know how to use the dishwasher. Our parents consider it wasteful when you can just wash by hand. Edit. Originally the guy above said they don't know how to use it. So I just wanted to clarify. Not really an everyday thing unless you're a tradesman. 
but I've seen way I, I too many people try to pound screws in with a hammer. The vacuum in my apartment. Which my roommate's drunk boyfriend seems to think needs to be running at 2. 1 AM. Some people use those for tobacco use only items for something that isn't tobacco. The nerve. I haven't personally witnessed it. But I've seen a few too many x-ray images of people with light bulbs up their asses. Well the sun doesn't shine there so it stands to reason to light it up. Maybe their colon just had a really good idea. Edit. You know the drill. Thanks for the silver. We weren't allowed hot plates or microwaves in the college dorms. So one of the girls on my floor cooked bacon with a hair straightener. I use the little toilets in family restrooms because they work just like a squatty potty. I always pray that the lock doesn't malfunction. Cause I am not sure how I will explain what's happening. When was the last time you put gloves inside the gloves box of your car? Girlfriend's brother using my $125 chef's knife to chop ice. I did make a scene. Got rid of both. Barbarians. My brother once used a brick chisel to cut brownies. My parents were a doing the kitchen and left it out on top of a paint bucket or something. S he thought it was a spatula. Edit. I was corrected that it was a putty knife and not a brick chisel. Although they are pretty similar. When I was a kid. My mother used a pasta spoon to clean the cat litter box. I thought this was normal because it was the only way I'd ever seen it used. Then. Years after our cat died. I was eating dinner at a friend's house when the mom grabbed the same kind of utensil to serve spaghetti. I freaked the fck out and shouted why are you serving food with a poop scoop. They were so confused and I couldn't eat my dinner because I was so disturbed. I saw a video once where a woman was using a drill. Nothing weird right? Well instead of... You know. Drilling she took a hammer and put the drill in the wall and started hitting the back of the drill with the hammer. I had an extreme itch in my ear and no q-tip. The closest small object that would fit in my ear was a screwdriver. So I used it. I ended up cutting my eardrum and had to go to the doctor. I can't say I regret it though. It was satisfying to finally get rid of the itch. Edit. I remember feeling uncomfortable because I couldn't hear properly a few weeks that. I used my pinky to feel around the inside of my ear and felt something hard. Turned out to be a blood clot and it came out in one piece. My hearing was fine afterwards. Anyways. I use ear drops now. The itch usually comes from allergies so scratching it once won't help. There's a Darwin award that got awarded to a young man who learned in biology that running a current through a muscle will cause it to contract. He used this knowledge to hook up a cow heart to the electric grid and then stuck his dick in before flipping the switch. Took them a bit to figure out why they found a naked boy with what seemed to be a lump of coal fused around his dick. That doesn't seem like an appropriate use of your home's light sockets. Got a non-stick pan and metal utensils in the kitchen? Somebody. At some point. Will misuse the FCK out of both at the same time. I once had a friend casually say you know how when you run out of toilet paper. So you just use a sock or whatever? No the FCK I do not. Sandra. Jesus Christ. My uncle had never used a Keurig before. And it seemed to him one would remove the top of that little K cup so the hot water could get to the coffee. Surprisingly big mess. When I was very young I used to think that you had to wedge your entire butt into the toilet seat when you have a shti. Moment of learning came when we went on holiday somewhere and were exploring the house. I saw the toilet with a much smaller seat than ours and said that's so small. How am I gonna fit in that to poop? Needless to say it provided some enjoyment for my parents. Edit. People saying it's my parents fault for not teaching me right. I think it was on me not them. One of my roommates used a pair of pliers to flip bacon. He did it pretty regularly. Welp. Baby me didn't have any small dolls to put inside a collectible toy mini cooper with openable doors. So the best thing I could do was use different types of erasers and give them personalities. 
We have a concrete putty knife at work that is used to cut brownies with. I hear that blade scream and pain with every chop. I hear you blade. And I feel your pain. Dot. I've secretly used it to do some minor shit rock work. So it remembers what it was intended for. Electric toothbrush. I'm sure a fair number of people here know exactly what I'm talking about. Edit. The most karma I've ever received on a comment and it's a masturbation joke. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. My back massager and I are appalled at what you're insinuating. My detachable multi-setting shower head and I think you are disgusting with what you are insinuating. Getting high off of sniffing a permanent marker. Using a stone pickaxe on dirt. My kids with paper towels. They spill two sips of juice and need half a roll of paper towels to clean it up. Someone got an open gum twisted it around and started cleaning their ears with it. Using toasters as bath bombs. Ah but your peas. Why did I click this? Not the most extreme. But my granddad reused an old ThinkPad laptop to be used as a karaoke machine. That's actually a brilliant use. Any blunt object in the construction field is a hammer. Any. Thing. To make a long F King story short. I once had a roommate who didn't know how to sweep or mop. I thought he was F King with me. Nope. He straight up did not know how brooms and mops work. Watching him try to clean was like watching a monkey try to FCK a football. I remember an individual who used an empty cardboard box as semen receptacle. The first time I saw someone open a beer bottle with a lighter. Prob too late but here goes. A buddy told me his friend had wanted to have multiple org SMS once but hadn't been able to keep it up after the first. He decided to shove a q-tip down his dick to maintain rigidity. It didn't work do naturally he tried a second one. Guy had to have them surgically removed. I've unsuccessfully spent 20 years trying to find any logic in this story. The. Fking. Poop knife. One time I saw someone eat cheetahs with a fork. Does that count? Only way to eat cheetahs is with chopsticks. Many years ago. My cousin was a doctor at a teaching hospital in my city. He came back from work one day and told us. He was staying with us at the time, that some guy had tried to use a lawn mower to trim his hedges. The blades of the mower got snagged around some of the branches on the hedge. And this idiot didn't turn the motor off before trying to reach into the mower to remove the jamming branches. As a result, when the branches were shifted, they dislodged. And the blades started spinning again at top speed. Slicing his fingers off before he could remove them. Potential Darwin Award material right there. Edit. Was not expecting 6. 0, 0, 0 upvotes. Colon. Once while camping I witnessed a family getting set up. Connect a hose to their car tailpipe and fill up their air mattress with the exhaust. I imagine whoever deflated it in the tent were just fine. My stepmom saw a bug and picked up my dad's phone and started to swing her arm to smash the bug with it when my dad caught her arm and yelled something about breaking the phone. So she put his phone down and picked up his friend's phone that was right next to it and smashed the bug with it. Breaking the phone in the process. She insane yo. Anything that is not an ashtray. Trash bins. See a full trash bin? Here's what to do. Take the bag out of the can. Tie it up nice and tight. None of those ties that keeps the bag is still halfway open. Replace with clean trash bin liner. Take full trash bag out to appropriate trash collection receptacles. Don't wait for your housemates to do it. They're just going to wait for you to do it. The trash will never be cared for. The saga will go on and no one will ever want to marry you. That redditor who said that he used to sit on toilets. Facing the tank. He thought the tank was like a tabletop you leaned forward on while you shti in the bowl. He did this all the way into adulthood. Soup fork. Isgrama wants his spoon back.